pans start getting hot. Today, doing something really special. You ever seen green coffee beans? And I mean like in green as in not roasted. The advantage of having green coffee beans is that they last almost indefinitely. They really don't get old. These are some I ordered because I don't grow green coffee beans. Uh, and they're sealed in this Mylar pouch, uh, which keeps them even fresher. Um, these are Arabica whole beans from Brazil. I've had some from, from they were like four different countries. Uh, these are the ones that's left. Um, so what we do is we're just going to pop this open, and today we're going to roast our own coffee beans, and then we're going to make some coffee out of those coffee beans. Now I'm going to go ahead and roast the whole pack. And then what I'm not using, I'll, I'll just put back in here. Basically, what you're doing is you're, you know, you're burning the beans. Uh, you see, that one already started to roast a little bit. The problem, of course, is the heat control. Now, you're going to see beans jump out of this pan all day. And they're going to get to popping around here some. It's going to take quite a while. If you can, spread it out to one layer. Now I've got a few too many beans in here, but let's see how that works. I'm going to crank it up a little bit. When I see a little hint of smoke, I'll know to move them around. This is the part where I gotta really stay on top of it now. Keep that uh, one 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 layer if I can. What you think? It's like we're burning the beans. Well, they're roasting. That's all I know. I'm not a bean expert. This is way outside my realm of expertise. That smells so good. You can see that bean oil coming out. And there's probably as many beans on the ground as there are in the pan. All right, single layer. Okay, I think I'm about ready to call that done. Some are, I could say, dark roasted. Some are light. Oop, there went another bean. There you go. These are some good old roasted beans. Now, there are a few that are just plain not roasted, but the majority of them, I think, look pretty good. And they smell amazing. Seems I have a massive storm coming my way. What I did bring was a, a very clean sock that I don't like to use. Now, I'm gonna put these in this sock. I'm gonna spill my beans. I just know it. I can. I can see it coming. Okay, not the spoon. It was close. Got him. All right there we go. 
There's a sock full of beans. Pull them down tight and take my hatchet. We're gonna bust them up. There's still some beans in there. And we'll try to grind these together a little bit more. Okay, let's see what that does. It's not too bad. A few beans left. I'm gonna transfer it over. Put this one on top. I hope it's like panning for gold, you know. I'll just pick them up. It's not that many, you know. You see that? All the core stuff, you know, separates out, supposedly. <laughs> it ends up at, at, at the bottom. And there we go. There we go. I think that'll do. Okay. Second time around, I pulled out all the, the big pieces and the whole beans. Put them back in the sock. And we'll try one more time to break them up. Okay, that's been going on for a while. Those bigger pieces will just give it some character, maybe. Let's see how hard are they to crack. Yeah, that was the other that was the other plan that I had discovered. You can't just you know, but I'm not a real big fan of sticking my axe in my pan. Okay. Let's make some coffee. We've only been at this for an hour or two now. Uh, yeah. And I got like I said, I got a big storm coming. The skies are changing. There's stuff all over my tarp. That's the one reason why I had put it up early, is to keep, you know, fall. From falling all over me and inside the food and everything else so I'll get this pot ready and uh, we'll get her started Think one, two. I mean, we're only making one cup, right? No, what? The, three. There you go. Make some bushcraft coffee. I'm going to call this wild roasted bushcraft coffee now it's cowboy style i guess but you know i'm not a cowboy if a horse rode up under me me and him both would be in trouble and while that's starting to boil i'm gonna put the beans back in the bag okay i got all the, the cracked beans back in the little pouch let me see if i can seal it up I mean, it makes it full you know being cracked like that because we're whole beans yep and that is wild roasted green coffee beans. It hasn't started boiling yet. We're gonna we're gonna invoke hopefully the spirit of Morris Kurchansky and uh, uh, use that method. And um, next time we won't have to do anything but just put them in the pot and cook them. It's my understanding that the Moore's way of doing this is to bring it to a really hard rolling boil, and that's why this pot has so little water in it or it will just boil over and then we'll use the drizzle method after that
that's a lot of heat. I'll show you. It's just not too hot. There she is. See? And I think that's sufficient. I'm gonna cut that off. This is has a this has a little strainer on it, you know, where it pours. Hopefully that's gonna catch all the grounds. I just have to gently pour it off. Now I had put enough water in the cup for one cup of coffee and left room. Hey, I can see myself in there. Ooh. And left room to pour the cold water in to settle the, the grains or the grounds or what do you want to call them. And um, of course some of the ones that were still whole were floating and I just don't think those are going to sink at all. But for the most part they, they went down. I believe there's probably enough coffee in those grounds to cook it again. Make another pot of coffee probably the exact same way. But I have you know, a way to transport wet coffee grounds, so they'll find a new home out here in the woods. They'll be spread out a little bit, you know. Um, but I am ready to sugar this up and give it a taste. It smells really good. Now, I've done this at home, roasted coffee beans and made coffee. And you've heard me before talk about how good an instant coffee is, and I drink Folgers, and I've tried Nor, I've tried Alpine, they were all reasonably good. Um, usually, ground coffee has too much acid in it for me. Kind of upsets my stomach a little bit and instant coffee you'll find that it normally doesn't have that that's a good bit stronger than what i'm used to but it's really smooth um you know it'll, it'll give me some get up and go here in just a little bit i'm pretty sure uh we got some clear skies but you can see that there's some there's a storm coming i keep hearing things falling out of trees. I keep looking. You know, I remember when a big rainstorm before I had something smack the tarp, you know, and it was a limb out of a tree had hit it. And uh, this is the same tarp that was leaking that time. So this is the one I put the seam sealer on. And uh, today might be a good test for it if I get that rain. Mmm. Now, that's, that's a smooth cup of coffee. And I guess that's what so many coffee drinkers who go to the trouble to brew their coffee all the time are looking for. Now, information tells me that you're not supposed to drink coffee right after you roast it. It needs up to two weeks to off gas. It's carbon dioxide type gases. That's why you, when you go to the grocery store somewhere and you see all those hard brick bags, or not the brick bags, but they're, you know, they're kind of soft, and you smell all this coffee, it has a vent made into the bag to let those gases out or it would rupture the bag. And they say that after they quit venting, that's when the coffee's best. I'm going to disagree with them. This is when the coffee's the best, when you work that hard for it. See ya. <laughs>